what's up beautiful people this is Nara. welcome to the channel today we have this very interesting video from the officer tater and it's titled the view the literally defends jamal bowman pulling fire alarm hmm also i'm excited to check this one out here was the officer tater i'm glad to say let's check it out uh, do you still stand by your statement that uh, when the fire alarm was an accident? You know, I don't know why this has gotten so much attention. I was literally just in a rush to go vote, man. That's all it was. Are you afraid of any repercussions, either from leadership or from legal aid from Capitol Police? I, I mean, listen, I take responsibility for what I did, you know, but like I said, I was in a rush to go vote, and, uh, you know, the investigation will, will, will sort everything else out. Uh, have you talked to Jeffries about it? Oh, yeah, of course. That's day one. Yes. Yeah. How was that conversation? Well, I got to keep that between me and the leader, so I'm not going to share that publicly. Yeah, uh -huh. but we've been in touch with each other. Hi everyone, we are at the infamous door where Jamal Bowman claims he had to pull a fire alarm to get out. Now these doors are open on weekdays. Mm -hmm. Every member of Congress knows that, everybody that works here knows that. But on Saturdays and Sundays, they are locked and only certain doors are open on Saturdays and Sundays. Now come on over here. This right here is a fire alarm. Mm -hmm. Nowhere does it say, pull the fire alarm to open the exit door. Mm -hmm. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Make sure you get the merch link in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notification anytime we go, to our, go live and make a video. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. All right, I want to get to Jamal uh, Bowman, who is... These Democrats get away with murder, man. I God is my witness, they do. And I don't understand how we're not holding their feet. All right. It's, it's interesting that Donald Trump could get indicted on business deals, and, and Joe Biden hadn't. There is, is there not enough conservative judges out here that are or prosecutors that are bringing the case? I, I'm I'm sick of conservatives talking about oh is it Soros bought? Well, well, who the are we buying? We ain't got nobody bought. Mm -hmm. All that money we got, we ain't buying nobody. They claim they buying people. Where, where are our people at? Where are our appointed prosecutors at? Where are the conservative prosecutors at? All these people that Donald Trump put in the in in the, in the court position, where are these people at? I can't believe Donald Trump is having to deal with this stuff. It's crazy to me. I, I, okay, let me go back to Jamal Bowman. This fool, and I'm going read to the, read the article. He said, Republicans are demanding the expulsion of the left-wing Democrat con congressman who triggered a fire alarm delaying a critical vote to hand off a government shutdown. Jamal Bowman uh, is facing a formal investigation into the incident by the House Administration Committee while Republican Congresswoman Nicole Miliotakis, I ain't never heard this person, has drafted a, a, a resolution demanding the 47-year-old representative from New York be thrown out of Capitol Hill. Mm. Just understand this for a second, y'all. Understand this for a second. I'll play the clip of Bowman's speech, but I just want, I just want you to understand this, and I'm going to read this. This is what he said. Um... I want to personally clear up confusion surrounding today's event. Today, as was, uh, I was rushing to make a vote, I came to the door that I usually open for votes, but today would not open. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to admit that uh, I activate the fire alarm, mistakenly thinking it, was op it would open the door. Hmm. I regret this and sincerely apologize for any confusion this caused. I want to be very clear this was not me in any way uh, trying to delay the vote. It mm. was exact opposite. I was trying to urgently, uh, I was trying urgently to get to the vote, which I ultimately did and joined my colleagues in a bipartisan effort to keep our government open. The sign on the door Bowman used uh, could, com could cause confusion. It reads, push until the alarm or push until the alarm sounds three seconds. Door will unlock in 30 seconds. However, the Democrat having um, complained that they were given insufficient time to consider the resolution, Republicans have accused Mr. Bowman, a member of the left wing uh, squad group of um, indulging in crude stalling tactics. So I would love to see what this door look like. Um, I think it's absolutely ridiculous. 
clearly you got him laughing on a picture right here that I see on TikTok of him laughing at Donald Trump's mugshot. Are you really a representative? Or are you a partisan hack? Um, let me play the clip of what Bowman said in the dumb, deranged women on The View and what they had to say. Wrote a clip. Uh, do you still stand by your statement that when uh, fire alarm was an accident? You know, I don't know why this has gotten so much attention. I was literally just in a rush to go vote, man. That's all it was. <laughs> Are you afraid of any repercussions, either from leadership or from legally from Capitol Police? I, I mean, listen, I take responsibility for what I did, you know, but like I said, I was in a rush to go vote, and, uh, you know, the investigation will, will, will sort everything else out. Uh, have you talked to Jeffries about it? Oh, yeah, of course. That's day one. Yes. How was that conversation? Well, I got to keep that between me and the leader, so I'm not going to share that publicly. Yeah, uh -huh. but we've been in touch with each other. My buddy Jamal Bowman. All right. So. <laughs> okay, so Democratic House member uh, allegedly pulled a fire alarm. Um, he claims that it was because he was trying to get to the House floor. I, it seemed, the video seems to say, or pictures suggest otherwise. I think it was because the CR came out and he wanted more time to read the bill. But rather, again, than Congress passing a bill that would allow for him to have more time to read it, he literally pulled the fire alarm. It'd be like if I was like, didn't like the next topic and I pulled the fire alarm and ran out. We just can't do well, that. What's, what's absolutely I, ridiculous, wait, wait, though, wait. is that there's MAGA Republicans that are somehow equating this guy doing this infantile stunt with January 6th. To my knowledge, nobody died because this guy pulled that stunt. And, and to my knowledge, nobody was bleeding, nobody was attacked because of this stunt. And, and I, I don't want to call it a stunt yet. There's going to be an investigation. <laughs> I know Look Jamal. This broad. And so again, I'm a little biased, but the doors that are normally open so that he could get to the chambers to read were somehow miraculously closed. How did that happen? And so, yes, sometimes you're freaking well, out and you're it, in an elevator it goes and you're pressing to what all the buttons. You were saying. It goes okay? to them not having the time. It is quite possible that he was trying to get and there and the, and the door, not panic, but you know, if you're not looking because there's a door that's normally open, you just go and you press a button. Mm. You know, it fire had, alarm button. Like, I'm wow. Scared. I don't know because I don't know what it. I haven't seen the fire alarm button, so I don't fire. know. Yeah, I don't. There was a like fire exit only sign. It was like no, active. because you have to break glass to press the but to get to the button. Well, so uh, I don't see? know. I don't know. It seems pretty fire alarm to me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It just looks like a button. I can't see the button. I think well, he could. He was a little closer. Did anybody in this audience pr uh, pull up a fire alarm to get out of a seventh grade test? <laughs> Brian. Raise no. your hand. Yeah, we know you did. We're not I guess my point is, you know, if you're not sure, then put it up for find out what it was. There's as opposed to just saying, you know, you did this to do that. Because when you, people pull stunts, I tend to think that they, they may be more full of it than, than he is. <laughs> you know, people who pull this kind of stunt, who say, right. and I, you only I, have I'm three minutes to read it. I kind of think, turd. oh, all right. <laughs> the turd, the turd of the view. That's why I'm going to call it shit, because her brain is a turd. I mean, it literally has no value in its things. Okay? But it's full of waste. Uh, a waste of our time as well. But anyway, I, I don't understand how there's a defense for Jamal Bowman. You a grown man. Yes. You should know what a fire alarm looks like. Exactly. You know, I, I just don't. I don't buy it. I don't buy it whatsoever. If that fire alarm is that easy for a grown man that's a representative mm -hmm. of his constituency, mm -hmm. who are all adults, and he can't in interpret if that's a fire alarm or not, I, 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 don't, I, I, don't, I don't understand what, what we're even talking about. Like, you can't be in Congress if you're too stupid to understand if you're going to pull a fire alarm mm -hmm. that says it's probably red and have a box around it that says fire alarm. And he pulled it anyway. And I think what he did was he pulled it, and he was gonna. He already had his pre excuse made. Oh, I was just trying to get through the door. No, he's trying to pull it in order to buy time for his colleagues to get there to cast the phone. Mm. That's pretty much what it was. And he get to do it, and because he's black, and nobody's gonna say anything. But it, it's 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 problematic to me because they always get away with murder. Yeah. You you should not pull a fire alarm. Because you ain't getting your way. But this is just the Democrat way. Do I know what his intentions was in his mind? I don't know. I can't speak to that. But, I mean, common sense tells you that he, he had to know there was a fire alarm. Yeah. Unless his statement is that I pulled the fire alarm to open the door. And I didn't think it would cause that much of a big deal. 
He's still stupid, but at least that makes a little more sense. But these women on The View are nuttier than a nutty bar. I, I just, it's, it's funny, I talk trash about them all the time, and I, but, but they give me so much fodder. They give me a lot of content. Oh my goodness. Now he's saying he, he was rushing to go cast his votes. So the fire alarm looks like the button to press to open the door. My goodness. I was supposed to believe this is an adult representing his constituent constituency in Capitol Hill. An adult, not a five-year-old, not a three-year-old, not a four-year-old, neither a seven or ten-year-old child, but a freaking adult. Wow. Because it's black, we're supposed to believe that he mistook the fire alarm for the switch, door switch, or he mistook the door switch for a fire alarm. So we're supposed to believe that and run with it. That is okay. It's Democrat, it's black. We were supposed to believe that. Hmm. Interesting. And it's crazy how these ladies on The View are making silly excuses. Because if he was someone else who's done this, then, of course, people will be in their right senses to think and say, oh, the person deliberately did this. But of course, this, who are we kidding? We're talking about the ladies on The View. They never they are always gonna be a hypocrite and it's crazy it still don't make sense to me but let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below what are your thoughts about jamal bowman's uh pulling the fire alarm uh, on the capitol hill and everything i really love your thoughts in the comment down below are you buying what he's saying or you think it's all lies and everything i really love your thoughts in the comment down below you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful and until next time see you in the next video